Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us quickly look at some of the questions based on the concept of prime factorization. Write the greatest four digit number and express it in terms of its prime factors. So what would be the greatest four digit number? The greatest four digit number would be 9999 because 9 is the like the biggest digit or the greatest digit. Now four digit numbers so 49 that would be the greatest four digit number. So how would you find its prime factors? So perform prime factorization. Will it be divisible by 2? No. Will it be divisible by 3? Yes. 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 3 is a 9. This will again be divisible by 3. 3, 1 is a 3, 3, 1 is a 3, 3, 1 is a 3, 3, 1 is a 3. Now, will this be divisible by 2? No. 3, no. 4, no. 5, no. So like that, you will see that it is the, the smallest prime number by which it is divisible would be 11 that is 11 1 is 11 0 11 1 is 11 now 101 is again a prime number so this will be divisible only by 101 so you can write 9999 as a product of 3 into 3 into 11 into 101 so these are the prime factors of the greatest four digit number Question number 2. The product of 3 consecutive numbers is always divisible by 6. Verify this statement with the help of some examples. Now let us take example. So let us consider example 1. We consider 3 any consecutive numbers. Let's consider 7, 8 and 9. So if you look at their product, what would be the product of 7, 8 and 9? It would be 7 into 8 into 9. So that is equal to 7, 8 is a 56 into 9, which is equal to 504. So this would be the product. Now this is, is, is 504 divisible by 6? Now in order to determine that, we have to see if 504 is divisible by 2. Since it has 4 in its units place, therefore it is divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? So we will have to sum the digits that is 5 plus 0 plus 4 which is equal to 9 which is divisible by 3 therefore the number is divisible by 3. So we see that 5 is not 4 is divisible by 2 as well as 3 therefore we can say that 5 not 4 is divisible by 6. So this statement is verified. So let us take one more examples to verify the statement. So let us now consider the three numbers as 2, 3 and 4. So what is their product? So the product of 2, 3 and 4 would be 2 into 3 into 4 that is equal to 24. So is 24 divisible by 6? We can directly say that yes 24 is divisible by 6, 6, 4 are 24. So with these examples we prove that the product of any three consecutive numbers is always divisible by 6. In which of the following expressions prime factorization has been done? First, 24 is equal to 2 into 3 into 4. Here prime factorization is not done because 4 is not a prime number. 4 is a composite number. 56 is equal to 7 into 2 into 2 into 2. So 7 and 2 are both prime numbers. So yes, in this case prime factorization is done. 70 is equal to 2 into 5 into 7. So 2, 5 and 7, all of them are prime numbers. So here also prime factorization is done. 54 is equal to 2 into 3 into 9. Here prime factorization is not done because 9 is not a prime number. Question number 4. Determine if 25,110 is divisible by 45. So now here you see that we have never talked about any divisibility rule of 45. So how will we determine if this number is divisible by 45 or not? So now here we will make use of the additional divisibility rules that we discussed just now. So what we saw was this 45 we can factorize it. We can write it as a product of its factors. So we can write it as 5 into 9 where 5 and 9 
are co-prime numbers. Now, some time back we had learned that if a number is divisible by two different numbers, which are co-prime numbers, then the number will also be divisible by their product. So that means if this number is divisible by 5 and is also divisible by 9, then this number will get divisible by 45 as well. So let us first check the divisibility by 5. So looking at the number 25110, you have 0 at the units place. So we can clearly say that this number is divisible by 5. Divisibility of 9, for that we will have to add the digits. So looking at the sum of the digits which is 9, we can say that this is divisible by 9 and therefore the number is also divisible by 9. Now since this number 25110 is divisible by both 5 and 9 such that 5 and 9 are co-prime numbers, therefore this number will also be divisible by the product of 5 and 9 which is 45. So you making use of the additional divisibility rule, we could determine if this number is divisible by 45 or not. So we did not do the actual division to find out if it is divisible by 45. Question number 5. I am the smallest number having 4 different prime factors. Can you find me? So it is the smallest number with four different prime factors. Okay, so what are the four smallest prime numbers? So let us first decide that which are the smallest prime numbers. So first four prime numbers. So let's first find out the first four prime numbers. So which is the first prime number? Prime number starts with two. Next is three, next is five and next is seven. Now it says that it is the smallest number which has four different prime factors. Now since the number is smallest, therefore the factors will also be small. That is quite obvious. And it also says that none of the factors are repeated. Like four factors and they are four different numbers. Therefore we can say that the smallest number would be 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. Because this is how you can represent with four smallest prime factors such that they are all unique prime factors. So the product would be 210. So therefore 210 is the smallest number having four different prime factors. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.